Thanks for joining us here on WDTV.com, your source for local news and weather information when it affects north central West Virginia. We've got three first alert HD sky cams streaming 24 hours a day, seven days a week right here on our website. One of them looking south outside the uh, studio here over a new point and east point. This particular one, two out of the three, is looking at the intersection of Emily Drive, Lodgeville Road and at US 50. Once again, you can find those anytime you like here on our website. Check on our homepage on the right side of the screen. As we go through the uh, overnight hours, more showers, more thunderstorms from time to time. Some of the rain could be heavy. Flooding is a possibility. Not a big possibility, but something we'll be watching as we progress through the overnight hours. Fall like weather for later this week. What does it mean? Well, first it means we can be setting some record lows on Thursday morning. If not, we'll come pretty close. When we get to the seven day, we'll talk about what else it means for your forecast. In the short term, though, we're still humid. We're still warm outside. We'll see plenty of clouds tonight. We'll have those showers and thunderstorms off and on from time to time. Some of that rain may lead to flooding, so we'll continue to track the rainfall here in the first alert storm. So you can always find the latest, of course, right here on the weather page of our website. As we go through the overnight hours, we'll only be falling into the middle and upper 60s tonight. In the higher valleys, we'll fall to the lower 60s. As we get into the day tomorrow on your Tuesday, we'll see most of the rain leave us by the morning hours. For the afternoon and the evening, a little bit of sunshine will return. We'll have spotty showers, maybe a thunderstorm, and humidity will drop later in the day. So uh, chances for severe weather are very low for the day on Tuesday, but we'll keep our eyes open. If there is any severe thunderstorms, they will be farther to the east towards the Virginia border, but even that appears to be a low chance. So highest temperatures for your Tuesday will be well into the 70s. We'll go with 80 degrees in Harrisville, 79 in Sutton, 77 in Buchanan, 78 in Weston, and 75 up in Kingwood. For later this week, very fall-like conditions. A, low humidity. B, cool if not chilly mornings to start, and the afternoons will be in the 70s for most of us, but some very comfortable conditions for the afternoon hours later this week. So one more time, for tomorrow, most of the rain should be done after the morning is over. Spotty showers, maybe a thunderstorm for Tuesday afternoon and evening. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, a mixture of sunshine and clouds. Very low humidity will make for some comfortable afternoons. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Perhaps, though, some record lows on Thursdays will be starting in the 40s. Friday, another chilly start to the day in the lower 50s. Then this weekend, we'll warm back up into the lower 80s. Low temperatures will come up as well. A few showers for Sunday and Monday as well. Thanks for clicking on WDTV.com, your source for local news and weather information.